Namaste and welcome, friends. My name is Cole Chance. Happy to be with you here today. And we are going to explore a powerful vinyasa flow today. So take what you can, leave the rest. I will be offering suggestions and you can modify them however that you would like. And I encourage that. And let's just kind of get going. So you might want to do a little warm up first. We're going to kind of get into, get into the spicy bit now. So if you're ready for that, then, then let's, let's begin. Let's start in, let's start in Tadasana. We'll start a bit different today. So up at the top of the mat, mountain pose. Let's bring the hands down to, down by the sides, turn the palms forward. Feet are about hips distance apart. Pick up the toes, spread them, and then lay them down. You can gaze down at your feet for a moment. Imagine that you're making like footprints in like concrete. Have you all seen those? Or like trying to put the paint, um, paint, paint your footprints on a piece of paper. So finding the edges of the feet and then separate the heels just a little bit. So this creates an internal rotation in the legs, just a little bit. And then imagine you can lift up through the heels, up the inner legs, through the pubic bone, lifting the heart, lifting the crown of the head. And then exhale down through the spine, tailbone, backs of the legs and heels. So the next few rounds of breath, can you imagine that you're lifting on the front of the body and then grounding down the back of the body? Let's close our eyes and do a few of those as we settle. Breathing in and out the nose. If ujjayi breathing is in your practice, this could be a good place to use it. So a little bit of a throat restriction. If not, no worries. And then hands to heart center. Pull the heart center towards the thumbs, thumbs back into the heart center. Wide heart, open heart. And let's breathe and move. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, slight bend in the knees as you pour forward, leading with the heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Crown of the head and tailbone reaching in opposite directions. And exhale, fold forward. Let's do that once more. Hands can be on blocks, on shins, or the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, pour forward. Step the feet back into downward facing dog. Hands are really wide into the mat, press down. And then lift the heels, bend the knees really deep, bring the belly all the way to the thighs here. The sit bones reach up and back. And then from this space, really long from the fingertips to the tailbone, from this space, maybe you drop the heels a little bit, maybe you drop them a lot. Maybe they go all the way down. It doesn't matter. They're just going in that direction. Inhale, wave forward plank pose. And exhale, we're gonna come into chaturanga, but bring the knees down first. Heart center comes forward. The back of the neck is long, head's not dropped. And then bend the elbows back as you come halfway down. Untuck the toes and press up into upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders back. Lengthen tailbone long, heart center opens. Press down, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, wave forward plank pose. Now your choice, you can come into chaturanga like we just did, or you can lift the knees up. Exhale, come halfway down, bend the elbows back. Inhale, heart center pulls forward and up, upward facing dog. Press down, downward facing dog. Breath in and breath out. Take a little step up with the right foot, just a little bit, plant the toe pads, and then bring the left heel down towards the right corner of the mat. Bring the weight into the right hand and lift the left arm up. So side plank variation here. Maybe the left arm comes to the top of the mat as if there was a fire underneath your hips, lift them high. 
Big side body stretch here. One more inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Wave forward plank pose. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale. Small step up with the left foot. Bring the right heel towards the left corner of the mat and open up into side plank Vashistasana variation. Hand can be up or towards the top of the mat. I like top of the mat better. I get more of a lateral stretch. Again, lifting the hips high away from the flame. And then think about lifting the knee up, the left knee. We'll come back to this later. One more inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. And exhale, chaturanga, knees up or knees down. Bend the elbows back. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. You can always skip those. And you can switch up your variations as well. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, step in between the thumbs. Big step up. That's a great move to do with your blocks as well. Crescent lunge. We're gonna press down through the feet to lift up through the hands, the torso. And exhale, back heel plants, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. Bring the elbow to the inside of the leg. Maybe the hand finds a block. You can also grab on the ankle like this. Grab for the inside of the knee for the outside of the ankle. Just another option. Take the left hand to the heart to spiral open. Left arm comes up. You can also take it behind the back and take a bind. Actively press through the left foot, the back foot. We don't want to forget about that back there. Let us utilize, utilize that space, that, that support. One more inhale. And exhale, both hands plant down to the ground. Downward facing dog. Inhale, wave forward, plank pose. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. And exhale, step in between the thumbs. Press down to lift up, crescent lunge. Warrior two. Reverse warrior. And then coming into extended side angle, it's gonna be different on this side, but bringing the arm or the elbow on the inside of the left foot, inside of the left leg, squeeze them into one another. Right arm lifts, or maybe behind the back. Really utilizing the back foot for support, pressing down, down, down. Reaching through the crown of the head and sending the tailbone down towards the back heel. It's a really long line of energy. One more inhale. Release the bind if you have it and plant both hands downward facing dog. Vinyasa if you'd like it or we meet in downward dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Press the ground away. Bring the heel towards the glute. Stay here for another round of breath. Pulling in, and then inhale up and back. 
Exhale, knee to nose. And then glue the foot towards the left ankle. Bring the left heel towards the right side of the mat, Vashistasana, with the leg up. Left arm comes up or over. Again, lifting from the fire. See if you can point the knee going up, as if you were shining a light from the knee. One more inhale. And exhale, knee to nose plank. Big step in between the thumbs. Press down to lift up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. Staying here for a moment. And seeing if you can come a little bit farther down on the inside of the leg. Inhale, cactus the top arm, lean back here. And then exhale, heart spirals down. The back heel lifts, both hands plant, lizard pose. Active lizard, pull the heart center forward, squeeze the shoulder into the leg, the leg back into the shoulder here. And then press down through the feet so you have a little bit of space. Uh, bring the heart down towards the ground and open your wings underneath the right leg. From this space, can you still bring the heart center forward? Pressing down through the feet. Bring the hands back underneath. See if you can keep the knee glued to the shoulder here and lift the foot, bring it back. Stay here for just a moment. And then press back, tripod down dog, big press back. Bend the knee, open the hip, staying here or flipping your dog by bringing the back heel down, touching the foot down and opening up the heart. Big broad opening. One more inhale. And exhale, plank pose. So your option here, chaturanga or no chaturanga. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And full round of breath in and out. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose, press the ground away. Stay here for a moment. Lifting heel to glute. Inhale, up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Bring the left foot to the inside or the outside of the knee, either one, and the left heel comes down. Vashistrasana, this is kind of like a bottom underneath tree pose. See if you can lift the knee up. This is a lot in the obliques. So really engaging the core. One more inhale. And exhale, plank pose, knee to nose. Step through in between the hands. And lift up, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, extended side angle. So maybe dropping down a little bit lower here. Spiraling the heart open and lengthening the spine. Sometimes it can be nice just to take the hand, front or back of the hand to the sacrum to help open up the front of the body. Next, exhale, spiral the heart down. Hands plant, coming into lizard pose. So take a moment. Just pressing the arm into the leg, leg back into the arm, pulling the heart forward. And then lift the hips a little bit. It can even be nice to lift the heel, bring the heart center down, and spread your wings. So dropping down low, and then pulling heart center forward, gazing forward. Hands come back, glue the shoulder and the knee together, and then lift the left leg. Stay here for just a moment. 
Inhale, tripod down dog. Bend the knee, open the hip stain here, or flipping it over and opening the heart. One more big inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, way forward, plank pose. And you can take another vinyasa or you can come to the knees and take a child's pose. Take a little treat here. Three rounds of breath, we'll meet in downward dog, wherever you'd like to go. Downward facing dog. I've got to catch my breath too. Tuck your toes. Downward dog. All right, we're gonna try this side plank variation again and add on. I need a good name for it. Let me know what, you, what your ideas are. Y'all have helped me name some poses, really helpful. So the right toes are gonna to lift. Exhale, knee to nose. Connect the right foot to the outside or the inside of the foot. See which one works for you better. And then Vashistasana, side plank. Really lifting the hips here. Arm can go wherever you'd like. And we're gonna extend the right leg out. So maybe you lift it up and let it float for a moment and then bring it down. Bend the knees into a deep squat. Open the heart. And then press and lengthen the leg. So it's kind of like a wild thing triangle here. And you can even find some movement by bending one leg and then the other. And then one more inhale and a big extension. And exhale, pull it all back together. Downward facing dog. Let's just wave forward and wave back, kind of rinsing out. And we'll do it on the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Foot glues to the inside or the outside of the knee as you open up. Knee trying to point up, give some more space. Maybe lengthen the leg out and float for just a moment and then lay it down. Bend both knees, open the heart and then lengthen. Again, you can find a little movement here. One more breath and extension. And exhale, bring it all back together. Feet walk to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bring the hips to the heels. We're gonna lift the torso up. You can use the blocks on the side. Or you can bring the hands to heart center. Squeeze the legs together. If the hands are together, then squeeze the hands together. Steady breath. One point focus, drishti. One more inhale. Exhale, sink the hips down, knees to chest. Breath in, breath out. Once more, breath in, and breath out. Knees plant down, do two back pins. Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. We'll start there. Press down through the feet. Lift the hips up. Interlace the hands behind the back and roll the shoulders together. Press down through the feet and lengthen the tailbone towards the backs of the knees. Steady breath. Pressing the arms down into the ground, lifting the heart. and unwinding. 
slowly laying the spine back down. Knees come together, feet separate, palms lift, constructive breast pose, three rounds of breath. You can come back into bridge pose or we'll do Urdhva Dhanurasana wheel pose. So this is the same setup, except the hands will come besides, beside the ears if you wanna do this. Elbows are pointed up, triceps in by the side. So we're not wanting to have them um, flip out. This requires quite a bit of tricep opening. So just a little precursor there. Lift the hips up and then press down through the feet and the hands to lift the torso. Kick into the feet. Tailbone still lengthens towards the backs of the knees. Heart lengthens towards the front of the mat. One more inhale. And exhale, slowly release. I like to lift the heels and then tuck the chin as a spiral down. Feet come together this time. Separate the knees. Say, um, Supta Baddha Konasana. One hand to the heart, one hand to the belly. Three rounds of breath. Feeling your heart beat. Mine is alive and well. can be so nice for really our vagal tone. Maybe I'll talk about that in another, in another class, but really good for our nervous system to be quite stimulated in a sympathetic response while we can give a really steady, slow breath. Those two things together, it's like allowing us to, our nervous system to pattern that we can be under stress. Things can feel as spicy and intense and we can still be okay still be safe. So that can be some really beneficial repatterning for many of us. So slowing the breath down. Let's extend the legs long. I'm just gonna take a short, about six breath Shavasana. And at a really slow, steady pace, six breaths, full inhale, full exhale, should be about a minute. So if you have a, a five second inhale, five second exhale, it's kind of a loose, a loose barometer, loose range. Noticing the pulse and the heartbeat and attempting to slow it down with the steadiness of your breath. You can stay right here where you are. Kind of sponging up your breath. Alternatively, you can begin to come up into a seat if you'd rather close out this way. Please listen to what feels good in your body right now. Wherever you are, turn your awareness and observation on to what's happening inside of you. This is called interoception, when we turn our perception inwards. So noticing the energy that's coursing through your body. Any emotions or feels that are there. Maybe taking a little peek in the mind and see if there's, there's any chatter or any stillness.
And wherever you are, bring the hands to your heart. Thank yourself for showing up, regardless of what happened or what didn't happen. It doesn't matter as much as us coming back to our mat, finding our way back here and exploring. So, One last inhale together. Full out breath out the mouth. And a bow in gratitude. <sighs> Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope that um, this felt good, got, got the blood pumping a little bit. So let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear your comments in um, the comments section. My name is Cole Chance. You can find out more about me, colechanceyoga.com. And I will see you next time here on Tuesdays on Yoga TX. Ciao.